So Jay, you have a new show coming up pretty soon on CNBC about right. cars, something you know a whole lot about. Uh, can you tell us a little bit of what, what can we expect? Well, I've been doing this show on the web, Jay Leno's Garage, yeah. for about, uh, well, on YouTube for about a year and a half, mm -hmm. but for almost 10 years now. And uh, it seems to have grown pretty uh, large just on word of mouth. So yeah. NBC or CNBC liked this idea, and it seems to fit in with their demographics. So, And it'll focus more on, uh, I'm not a big fan of these shows where they call each other brother and they throw tools at each other. And, <laughs> you know, I mean, maybe a little bit more of the history and the design and uh, that type, that aspect of the automobile. Gotcha, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, some people talk about, you know, rare and classic cars as even an investment asset, uh, an asset class to itself. Is that something that you've ever thought Well, of? it's not something, you know, it's a bit like artwork. If you buy what you like, yeah. if it doesn't go up in value, at least you still like it. Sure. And it's the same thing with automobiles. I mean, I've bought a number of cars old Bugattis and things that were uh, reasonably inexpensive in the day, and now they've, <laughs> they've come crazy. I mean, it's, uh, I wish the stock market did that well. Yeah. I it, mean, McLaren F1 that you bought in 1998 for 800000 is worth about $11.5 million now. Yeah. And, you've, and you've, you can use it and drive it as well. Exactly. So, so, yeah, I think it, I wouldn't put all my eggs in one basket, right. but... If you're a thoughtful person and you're reasonably knowledgeable, and if you like it, there's a good chance other people will like it, mm -hmm. so it tends to go up in value. Yeah. There's been a sense that, you know, just given how the values have skyrocketed, that it's kind of gotten like maybe a crowded area, I mean, or is it just concentrated in certain types of models? Well, I mean, Ferraris have always yeah. been the, the, that's, that's the one, the collector yeah. cars, but then you sort of look down at other cars and, that are out there that maybe haven't quite caught on yet, and you mm -hmm. try to jump in on that market. You right. know, for example, 356 Porsches or early Porsche 911s that were fifteen or $20,000 cars just 10 years ago, mm -hmm. $80,000, dollars $100,000 now. Yeah. So uh, there you go. It's, so it's you, undervalued. Uh, yeah, you, try to, yeah, you yeah. try to get ahead of the curve. Yeah. I mean, is there a sense out there that the, the supply of those cars that might be interesting to you know, people down the road are being replenished? I mean, I guess, I guess there's a sense out there that in the last... 20 years has been kind of a sameness to a lot of production cars? Yeah, I mean, the golden age is sort of from uh, the 20s up to about 1976. Okay. Uh, in the last 10 or 15 years, cars... But, you know, it depends what's not exciting to me. For example, yeah. I had a, an intern at our show who was 21 years old. He said, Mr. Law, you like classic cars? I said, you like classic cars? He goes, he said, yeah. I said, you got any? He says, oh, yeah, I got a 91 Miata. And I went... <laughs> Well, that was built before it was yeah. born. And when you look at the 91 Miata, right. it's the first generation. It's, it's twin cam. It's a five-speed. It's a real sports car. It's very simple. It's very lightweight. And you realize that will be the Mustang of the future. When right. I was a teenager, they used to say Mustangs will never be collectible mm -hmm. because they built a million of them the first year. So they're right. just all over the place. Yeah. Uh, well, now they're, they're not crazy expensive, but they're thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 cars. Right, so there's something that's in retrospect distinctive about it, whereas right, at the time right, it was right. just, you know, the new and thing a lot of times Mazda. it's nostalgia, a lot of times there's nothing distinctive about it. Right. I mean, a Mustang is basically a Falcon Pretty with a sexier car. body on it. Yeah. But because so many people from my generation, it was the car of their youth, the car they lusted after, oh, they want one, they gotta have one. Yeah. And I think people feel that way about the Miata. First generation Priuses will seem cute and quaint in yeah. another 20 years. They'll see it's so simple, little battery, little <laughs> engine. Oh, and you know, my mom had one when I was five and, mm -hmm. and somebody will want one. So yeah. that's kind of how it works.